new Mimosa AB6, X Wi-Fi 6, 6 GHz band and 3 GB of traffic. Field test, let's get started. No, there's nothing at all yet. With Damien, Damien and Alex. Today, we have the Mimosa B6X. This is a new product from the manufacturer Mimosa. Uh, as we announced last time, it's been on sale for about a month now, and we can't wait to see what it can do. The main feature of this device is that it's a product from the B6X series, the successor to the B5 models. The letter X in the name indicates that it is compatible with the well-known screw-on antennas. Depending on the distance, we can simply use either larger or smaller antennas. Exactly. The B-series, which includes products dedicated to point-to-point -point connections. And just like its predecessors, the device has two radio modules that can operate with the band with a width of 160 mHz and a very wide range from 4.9 up to 6.5. Six fold of inch. I wasn't too far off. Yes. We chose new locations today, 4.5 kilometer. Our colleagues are over there. Yay! We set up the first point, we left the guys there. The second point is here with us, we left that one too. A test set similar to the last time, our well-known grids. The extra linker power station as a device for conducting, testing and generating synthetic traffic for the MicroTIC RB4111. Quick, not quick, how long has it been? An hour and a half to the visa? Uh, it literally comes down in five minutes and turns off saying critical battery, even though it just had 90%. But you're showing 80 for me now too. Yes, exactly like that. It's just that I can still, with you, I see that he didn't want to. I press the power button and then it screams, Ouch, it hurts. Do you want to turn me on? And I say, yes, go ahead. Hey, I need you. All right, so you're going to do something with that again. It is what it is. We're connecting everything and it's pretty much all connected now. We're opening the laptop, recording the screen, showing the tests. We have Winbox running. We entered the address of the other side, which is Tempo Tempo Neva. Traffic in both directions, admin, admin, and we start the test, start, all right. Zero Nero, we're waiting a moment, mm. and we have 352, 350 by 700. We'll almost see what it looks like on our dashboard, Mimosa. What do we see here? Damien, do we have the speed? Lights on the maps. So what's the speed? That's quite a good speed. It's split into uh, 740 Mbps one way and 350 Mbps the other way. I'll tell you, those are good results. Good results? What we did recently, uh, the tests on the Mimosa C6X had much worse results. So, these two modules are doing their job, right? Yes, exactly. The two radio modules are doing their job. The results are quite good. Now, the first frequency we're on after disconnection is 5200 months. 200 MHz MHS, and the second frequency is 5985 in 1985 MHz. You can see it clearly in the attached image. Well, I think the tests were fairly successful, as always. As for the free band, for everyone and susceptible to interference, yes, the tests were good. You moved away, as we said, 4.5 kilometer, one gigabit of traffic. That's quite a speed. Not bad at all. For a device that anyone can buy and install for various needs, do you think that speed is enough for the whole neighborhood? It can look like that. What else is interesting? I think we're still waiting for the final software versions from the manufacturer. I think they'll refine a lot more and we'll be able to show you even greater capabilities of this device. Thanks for being with us. Subscribe to our channel. We don't stop, we keep observing the market. As soon as something interesting comes up, we'll dive right into it, do some tests, and we'll be happy to show you. See you later.